What's going on everyone? Josh from Coloss Fitness here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to do the trap bar deadlift. This is one of my favorite movements because it allows for more power, flexibility, and velocity in the movement. Let's jump right into it. So first things first, when it comes to the trap bar deadlift, the first question people are gonna have is why this over the conventional barbell deadlift? I, like most people, used to be a purist. When you think of the big three, you think barbell movements. If you're competing, you're a power lifter, you do barbell movements. That's just what you do. I myself have done over 600 pounds, but I'm gonna surprise you when I say I actually prefer the trap bar deadlift more in everyday training. And the reason for this, once again, comes down to that flexibility. You'll see that the reason it's called a trap bar deadlift or sometimes a hex bar deadlift is because the bar is in a hexagonal shape, allowing you for more movement within the movement in general. If you're deadlifting that bar is in front of you, it's awkward. You're leaning over that bar. It's hard to get activation. Whereas as you can see me pulling here, I'm getting more quad involvement. It's more natural for me to pull through the motion and it's easier for me to actually have my back in a strong posture form. So now let's walk through how the movement works and how you're gonna do it. So first and foremost, you're gonna walk up to your bar nice and easy. You wanna make sure you're dead in the middle of this bar. If you're too far forward, it's gonna cause you to lean forward. If you're too far backward, it's gonna cause you to make one of our common mistakes, which you will see after. So instead you wanna be dead in the middle. There's two positions to pull for the trap bar. So you have your high handles or your low handles. If you're a taller person, high handles are gonna be more natural. It's gonna mimic more of a conventional deadlift, but the low handles are usually gonna be a lot closer nonetheless to your normal deadlift. So if you really wanna you know, maximize oh, your strength and mirror more of a deadlift, get more of the motion, you're gonna be pulling from here. So I'm gonna demonstrate from here, but if you're newer, I would recommend using the higher handles. It's gonna be a little bit easier. So from here, it's gonna mirror a squat. Because you're in the middle of this, you're actually gonna sit back be in that squat position. Now, a big mistake is hunching forward. Instead, you're gonna pull that chest up and tighten your lats. It's called loading your lats. So I'm loading in my lats here, heads up. I'm gonna power through the motion, full lockout, come back. So once again, you can see I'm loading the lats, pulling into my glute, using my quads, strong position, head is forward, standing up tall with good balance, full lockout come down with control. So that's how you do it in a nutshell. I'm gonna show you three common mistakes because I find it helps you learn better when you know what not to do. So we do this totally free because we wanna help people become fitter, healthier, and happier, and learn how to do things the right way to save you from Snap City, hurting yourself, or just looking silly. So if you enjoy this video, pay us back by just smashing a thumbs up, subscribing, and if you're looking for a coach and you wanna save a ton of money away from personal training, get better results, just like this, go ahead and click that first link to learn more about our online coaching because we can help you one-on-one -on -one a lot more than we can in this video. Now into the three common mistakes. Common mistake numero uno is improper position. This is this hexagon here, you wanna be dead in the middle. If I'm mad forward, my grip's forward, it's gonna be impossible for me to do it without tipping over. And you'll notice too, you'll really feel the effects of bad form or improper placement if you have it on the low handle. If it's on the upper handle, it's a little more forgiving. Same goes with being too far backwards. Even here, I can't pull this position. The bar is gonna go all over the place. Be dead in the center, pull up from the center. You're gonna get balance from this position. Mistake number two is supplementing for a good hip hinge with a shrug. This is not what you wanna do. It's gonna look like this. You see a lot of people do this. It's a lazy effort to get that bar all the way up. You're not actually lifting up your arms here and shrugging it up. Instead, you should be hinging it up in through the glutes, squeeze the glutes here, so you're gonna get the most out of the motion. That's number two, hinge, not shrug. Third tip while we're talking about hinging is overextension or underextension. A big part of this movement is getting that lockout in through the glutes, completing the rep. So if you overextend, it's gonna look like this. A lot of people will do this, it's awkward, some potential for injury, you're putting your spine in a weird position, avoid it. You just need to come out to lockout. Just the same, you can under lockout, which will look like this. I'm losing a lot of the benefit of the movement here. We want a nice hinge, we want to be in through that posterior chain, really lock into those glutes, get the full range of the motion. So once again, I know it's a lot, that looks complicated, it's hard to break it down into a normal movement. I'd really recommend watching our conventional deadlift video as well. You get some tips you can pull from there into here. If you're debating which one to do, play with it, see what feels best. There are limitations to this. Maybe it doesn't agree with your build, your height, your femur length. Play with it, play with the grip, see what feels most natural. But this is often easier for beginners. So there's no shame starting here, advancing into a barbell deadlift if you want to. If you're not competing, there's really no limitation in my opinion. So go ahead, try this out, implement it in your routine. Thanks for spending some time and learning how to do this movement. Once again, if you liked it, smash thumbs up and have a great day.